Hi, this is Tim Burden, author of Statistics in Plain English. And in this short video, what we're going to do is um, learn how to read and interpret Appendix D, which is the um, critical values for Tukey tests, Tukey HSD tests uh, that are run. These are the post hoc tests that um, you run after doing a one way ANOVA. Um, this is just one kind of post hoc test, uh, there's many others. But what we find with this is, um, with the Tukey tests, is we calculate Tukey values that compare two of the sample means that are involved in the ANOVA, um, and then you can see whether it's statistically significant. And in Appendix D, what you get is a family of um, critical Tukey values that are based on the studentized range distributions. And this is what it looks like. So first, I want you to notice that up here, um, we have the alpha level of 0.05, and that means that these are the critical Tukey values when you have an alpha level of 0.05. If you um, scroll down, you'll see that there's another um, group of values that are associated with an alpha level of 0.01. Um, and for this lesson, we'll just focus on the alpha level of 0.05. Up in the column headers, that's these, um, you'll see a group of numbers. And these, this is the number of levels of the independent variable. So this is similar to Appendix C with one very important difference. In Appendix C, the column numbers um, were the degrees of freedom between groups. And in this appendix, Appendix D, this is the number of levels in the independent variable. So if I ran an ANOVA and I'm comparing three different groups to each other, this is the column that I would look at because this is the number of levels of the independent variable. Three groups means three levels of the independent variable. And so this would be the column that I would uh, look at here. So um, over here, we have the degrees of freedom error, and that is um, what we get from our ANOVA. In the ANOVA, we have the degrees of freedom error is the number of cases in each group added together, and then you subtract the number of groups. So if we have 10 cases in each of three groups, we would have um, uh, degrees of freedom of 27. So let's take a look at, at how to use this to find a critical 2Q value. Suppose that I performed an ANOVA and I was comparing four different groups. And each group had, let's say, five people in it. The column that I would look at would be this one because the number of levels of the independent variable is four. So that's the column that I'm using. And then the degrees of freedom error would be 4 times 5, because there are 5 cases in each group, which is 20. And then 20 minus the number of groups, which was 4, would be 16. So we would look in this row here. The degrees of freedom error would be 16. So if we find the intersection of our column and our row, Remember, our column is 4, our row is 16, and the intersection is here, 4.05. That is the critical Tukey value, and if our calculated Tukey value is larger than 4.05, then we know our Tukey is statistically significant, and the two groups means that we were comparing are significantly different from each other. If our calculated Tukey value is less than 4.05, our result is not statistically significant, and uh, the, there's not a significant difference between the two means, sample means, that were being compared in this Tukey test. So that's how you read and interpret Appendix D. I hope that was helpful.